Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Listen, there's a lot of things okay. going on out there. Uh, Walter, do you have any place you want to start here before I get into, like, I've got a list of questions. There's obviously the stuff that the news that came out today from ATF, um... What are you thinking, Walt? Uh, I can you imagine if you uh, you know talking about serial numbering gun parts, right? That's mm -hmm. one of the things they're talking about, right? Can you imagine mm -hmm. if you own a company like um, Numerich Arms, yeah, which has millions of gun parts, millions of gun parts? What do you, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? it's um uh, yeah, that's ba it's basically that's a nightmare scenario, I think. Um, you know, it, can I can I chime in real quick? Yes, go ahead. Um, sure. What what did ATF say or do today that I'm not familiar with? Yeah. Okay. So listen, let's jump. Let's uh, jump into this. I'm gonna actually pull up the news. So if you guys go check out, um, if you check out, it's uh, where is it? It's on Amalan News actually. That's uh, here we go. I'll pull I'll pull it up here. I'll pull up the story for you, Vince. So the story just came out from um, release from our friend John Crump. Um, I need to say, uh, did you do an interview with John Crump of Amalan News? I'm not sure if you did. I'll I'll help you get that set up though if you didn't do that. So here's the um, here's the news. So it says um, leaked proposal: ATF's new rules take on ghost guns by serializing blocks of metal. That's the headline. So it says a new proposal by the BATF. Um, on unfinished fire, uh, firearms frames was leaked onto the internet. Stephen Gutowski, on his newly launched The Reload website, reports that it obtained documentation embedded below that shows the ATF plans to deal with so-called ghost guns. MOLAN News sent this document to our ATF contacts, although they could not uh, verify the legitimacy of this exact document, everything appeared to be formatted correctly and includes changes MOLAN News has reported on in the past. Our sources believe this document to be authentic. Um, and then the, the uh, writer of the original article goes on to say, I, I obtained a document through a source, but no good journalist ever reveals their confidential sources who provide important information uh, that the public deserves to know. So according to the report, any random part that the user could readily convert into a firearm will be subject to ATF regulations. As in the past, the document doesn't define what the term readily convertible means. This this term could be that any block of metal could be readily convertible into a firearm. In fact, the document shows the ATF used a court case where it took the user eight hours to convert a kit into a gun. The document does not highlight the need for a, a complete machine shop. Uh, excuse me, the document does highlight, excuse me, it does highlight the need for a complete machine shop and qualified workers to complete a firearm would not fall under the proposed rules. So the document would mean new 80% AR-15 lowers, uh, lower receivers, chunks of metals would need a serial number and require the buyer to obtain a background check before the seller could transfer it because it could be easily, quote unquote, convertible with readily available tools. Yeah, You're so killing me. Go ahead. I, I've heard enough. I've okay. heard enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nowhere in the Gun Control Act does it identify a chunk of metal as an upper or lower receiver or part of a firearm. Just tell me one. One tragic mass shooting or one tragic accident that has happened from one of these ghost guns. I mean, it's worthy of discussion to make sure that everybody's on the same page and whatever. But why are we talking about chunks of steel when we've got firearms, completed firearms rolling off the assembly lines as fast as they can make them and sell them? Why are we talking about that? Joe Biden said, um, we're going to regulate ghost guns. Why? I don't know of any, not in 36 years did I ever seize a ghost gun. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I mean, I don't think I could agree with you more here. Walter, did you want to add something before we 
So yeah, what what they're saying is, and I'm, and I'm, and when when that uh, for example, when that uh, forging company forges that AR-15 forged blank chunk of steel metal, mm-hmm. that's going to be have to be serial numbered, and that's like stupid because you can't. The average person, I don't care what they got, cannot readily make that into a lower that works. I mean, you no, can with can't. hours no. and hours, and it, hours and hours and, and hours of work. Yeah. 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 And we have all kinds of issues out there in the firearms industry that are actually causing consternation in America with the guns being out there. And yeah. why is that something we pick to look at? This obscure chunk of metal that if you have a metal lathe and if you have a drill press and if you have the plans and if you can do this, I, you know, I've dealt with a lot of gangsters, a lot, a whole lot, and not one of them had the damn sense to be able to Thank put you. together a ghost gun Thank or, you. or the money <laughs> or the time. They will go down to the corner and buy a, you know, mm-hmm. street gun. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we got we got two bucks here from, uh, I'm going to get the applause, Army Man and Axis. He says, uh, the genie is out of the box, no going back. You know, um, so I had a specific plan on how I was going to do this, but I mean, obviously, you know, this is really how we do the show. We jump in there and do things. Um, I really, I don't think that they want to focus on anything that would come close to solving the problems that we do have in America. So this is kind of like a boondoggle, you know, this is kind of like, oh, th- these things have like a weird, scary name. We're going to go after them. If you have all, if you have all the skills, the tools, the machinery, you can make whatever you want anyway. <laughs> it's the most yeah, nonsensical I need, thing. <laughs> I don't need a company to give me a chunk of steel with some plans. I can go on the internet and I'm not skilled, but I guarantee I could make a gun i used to make guns when i was a kid Mm -hmm. it ain't hard how many criminals people who were (laughs) who committed crimes were locked up arrested put in jail still make guns in jail (laughs) i i know of none i know they're out there probably Mm -hmm. but it probably makes up point zero 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 one of ATF's criminal prosecutions. So why they're kowtowing to the administration on this? Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.